Good evening. Good evening. Um, this is a complicated moment. Um, there's so much to celebrate uh, among what you've accomplished so far. There's so much to envision about what you're going to accomplish going forward. But I'm not going to lie to you, it's really hard for me to picture the State Capitol building in Springfield with that poor voice reverberating off of those stone walls. Um, I think a lot about the work that Latisse and I have done together in the Capitol. Forget about on the campaign trail, but I just I think about meetings we would have with, you know, the way things work in Springfield is that the more wrong you are, the more people you have to pay to be on your side. And so when you're in a negotiation about a bill, good Lord. Good thing though, fingers are not about negotiation. Everybody's fine. Yeah. That's right. We did it, all right. Um, Sorry. No. And so we would sometimes sit in these rooms and there'd be like, you know, a dozen different people in suits whose job is to tell us why discrimination is all right or economic justice isn't that important. And everyone would kind of go around the table and say their sort of carefully constructed, extremely polite, coded language arguments one after the other. And then Latissa would just have a chance and all of a sudden everyone in the room was reminded what the truth sounds like. All of a sudden everyone in the room was reminded what justice is about what public service is supposed to be for. And, and that voice is so important and so strong and so frankly unusual and so unique. Uh, and the people of this community and this whole state have benefited from it so much. I've learned so, 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 so much from you. Um, and I've been thinking a lot recently about what do you do with that knowledge and those experiences and that voice as you set off in a new chapter. And I think it's going to be phenomenal. I think it's going to be phenomenal to see you bring all of that knowledge and experience to a place that needs it just as badly, to bring all that passion to an environment where it's so extraordinarily necessary. And I think that skill that Latissa has of being in a moment where everybody is saying stuff that isn't really the truth and just saying the truth so loudly and clearly and persuasively so that everybody else has no choice but to listen and focus and pay attention and start to act accordingly. That skill is really useless, useful for, for a legislator. It's useful in all sorts of areas of life. But fundamentally, that's the skill of an organizer. That's the skill of a leader. That's the skill of someone who every time she steps out of her house in the morning, she's going to find people following her and walking with her and changing the world with her. And so that gives me a lot of comfort in this moment of transition to know that whatever the shape of your next many steps are going to be, they're going to be powerful. And they're going to find you and your voice attracting people from all walks of life to work together with you and make change. Um, Latissa became a part of my political life in a really hard moment. And that was a moment in my political life when a lot of people were finding it really easy to walk away. And what Latissa did was walk toward a friend in that moment. What she did was to embrace a cause in a difficult moment, not the easy moment. Um, on a very personal level, I will spend the rest of my days on this earth with a level of gratitude and appreciation <coughs> for that that I just can't even put into words. It's more than I know how to put into words. But what I want to talk about for all of us is that that willingness to walk toward your friends and to embrace people with an embrace of love and support in the exact time when everyone else is walking the opposite direction, in the exact time when they're in the greatest moment of need. 
That's a very, very, very special quality. That's a form of loyalty and support and kindness <coughs> that not a lot of people have in this world. And that's, that's a quality that makes everything around you better every single day. Batista, I love you. Aww. We all love you. are at the city of Rockford, whatever other electoral steps may be coming soon or later or both, I cannot wait to play whatever role I can helping you, lifting you up, <coughs> and creating that platform where that extraordinary voice of yours has not only the audience it deserves, but the followers it demands. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah.